Hi there, I'm Kelly Dean from the Tummy Team, and I want to talk to you a little bit about trauma, grief, and how it is stored in the core. So the Tummy Team, we focus on functional core rehabilitation, basically retraining the core muscles, the muscles that wrap around your body and then connect your upper and lower body and wrap around the torso, all right? And in the holistic process of our of our rehab process, we have realized that most cases that we see, there is some form of disconnect, some form of withdrawal from emotional pain that has happened in your life that you have stored in the muscles of your core. And this may be completely new information to you and may be hard to digest at first. So I want to just talk a little bit about how the body works and how muscles have a memory and how our protective mechanisms in our system protect us from pain, but as a result can um, dull our senses a little bit, if, so to speak. Okay, so every muscle in your body can have a muscle memory. And muscle memories are sometimes good and sometimes bad. We have muscle memories for how we drive a car and how we, you know, swing a, a bat um, in baseball. And we also have muscle memories in, in um, how our body responds to fear or anxiety or sadness. Um, and typically what we see is anytime we are dealing with some kind of trauma, whether it is um, emotional or physical trauma, we tend to, as human beings, store most of that or suppress most of that physically in the muscles or in the part of our body between our chest and our pelvic floor. And we tend to hold tension there. So if something bad has happened or, or we've experienced some kind of trauma, we can kind of tense up, hold our breath, kind of tense our muscles of our body or, or kind of resist um, that emotional feeling by kind of stuffing it down. You know, when we say we stuff our emotions, a lot of times we feel it kind of right here in our chest. Some of that has to do with our diaphragm and how we breathe in those times of stress, but also a lot of trauma that we see in our clients um, are my, maybe related to um, a surgery, birth trauma, sexual abuse, um, or some kind of fertility difficulties. And so a lot of times that is all housed in kind of this part of our body in a way that we feel maybe our body has failed us or we feel like um, there was so much pain or fear or anxiety related to the circumstances around the birth or around getting pregnant or around some abuse in our past that we've kind of had to withdraw from that pain. And that's a natural process, a natural survival mechanism for us when something is going to hurt us, we pull away from it um, and we kind of box off and, and protect ourselves. Kind of, we call it muscle guarding in physical therapy where we kind of brace ourselves in anticipation for something to hurt, whether or not that thing is gonna actually hurt us, but it, we were hurt like that in the past. So we, we press out or we pr put a wall around us to, or we tense up in anticipation. And that's part of a muscle memory as well. So when you've experienced some kind of loss or some kind of trauma, it's very common for you to, to overreact and then withdraw from these muscles. And what that does at a like molecular level is it decreases blood flow to the area and it dulls the senses of that area. So neurologically, it's hard to, to feel um, the, the muscles when you've withdrawn, like you've kind of checked out or disconnected from that area. So you may feel numb, weak, disoriented, disconnected, like this is a foreign part of your body um, and you can't even access those muscles. And there's some truth to that. So when you have withdrawn in that way, and then you feel like, oh my goodness, my body is weak and I need to strengthen it. Our first line of defense is usually to go to some kind of exercise or fitness um, to strengthen those muscles. 
But what you need to recognize is if you've disconnected from those core muscles, and those core muscles have a really important job in your everyday life. They're structural, um, they're postural, the internal corset muscle connects your rib cage and your pelvis so your body feels stable and your arms and legs can move freely. It supports and stabilizes your spine. It supports your organs and puts them in the right places so that they can get um, healthy blood flow and can function well. So when your body is not connected and not using the core muscles effectively, your body tries to find other strategies to help you get the stability that you need and the support that you need. And a lot of times that's excessive tension up around your rib cage, all these muscles, chest muscles, neck muscles, um, jaw muscles, shoulder muscles are all kind of in tension trying to stabilize the rib cage from the top because the corset is not doing its job. At the same time, you can have some tension around the pelvis in your glutes, in your hamstrings, in your hip flexors, in your pelvic floor muscles where they're clenching, gripping, tightening up, tensing up, trying to stabilize you. So your body is a use it or lose it system. The more you use a muscle pattern, the more your body hears the voice of that muscle. The less you use it, like if you're disconnected from your core muscles, the less ability you have to access that, access that muscle. So then if we go back into these exercises and fitness routines where we're trying to strengthen a muscle that we literally cannot feel and connect to, our body goes to the next best thing. Oh, the other muscles that have been helping in this time, these upper back and the glute muscles, and it reinforces your compensation patterns. And compensation is a great temporary survival strategy but an ineffective long-term um, lifestyle, okay? There's consequences to overusing muscles doing the job that they were not meant to do. They fatigue, they cause pain, they cause muscle imbalance, asymmetry, joint instability. There's all kinds of things that happen and you may be experiencing some of those things right now. You feel like, oh, I can't access my core and I have all this tension in all these other places. That's not uncommon. This is actually one of the most common things that we see at the tummy team and the, why, and the whole reason we do the work we do and why we do it the way we do it. So it's more than a series of exercises. It's really connecting to um, those deep muscles that you have maybe disconnected from and recognizing that there is a physical response to emotional pain and that physical response is held in the muscles and if the muscles of your core are not getting blood flow then they're not functioning well you cannot heal something you cannot feel and it is very difficult for you to get the balance and the strength and the connection that you are actually craving in the things that you need to be doing in your life. All right, so all of our online programs include some component of addressing grief, trauma, um, tragedy, fear, some kind of emotional pain that's held in physical ways in the body. We address it in each one of our programs at different levels depending on which course you're in. And we want to give you a holistic um, healing approach to not just rebuilding your strength but rebuilding that connection and how your body is designed to function and how your body has the ability to feel and move and move forward outside of kind of those traumatic events that maybe have happened in your past. So this video is really designed to help you have just a greater awareness of all the components of core rehab that we incorporate at the Tummy Team and why you may feel that numb, disconnected um, feeling and what to do with it. So you're not crazy. This is very common. It's probably the most common thing that we see. Um, and there's a way out of it. There's a way to recover and to heal from that. And we would love to help you do that. So check out more at thetummyteam.com and look at our online programs and look at ways that we could actually help you get the strength back to live the life that you were meant to live. All right. Thanks so much.